And another woman that could take your spotlight If I wrote you a symphony Just to say I'm Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Carly Shea here. And if you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because basically, shit, that ain't it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you. Welcome to my channel. It's Kevin Shane here. And if you're new here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe so you can join in the house and be rest out like one of us. Period. So today I am going to be doing a hair install. My first wig install. That bitch blew up. I didn't even expect it to blow up because I bought that wig myself from Amazon. That was basically nine months ago. So now we're gonna get right into it. Like I said, I'm not a professional sweet. I do know what I'm doing with this hair and beauty stuff because I've been doing it since I was in 10th grade. But y'all had so many questions. So in this video, hopefully I answer all your questions by doing the ultimate meltdown from start to finish. I'm not gonna show the plug-in because I already did a video on plug-in, but from Brisa Knots to Installing it and like doing the baby hairs all that and I would like to thank you to Austria hair for sponsoring this video because they didn't really have to send me this hair But they did because you know they trust in the girl to like do work the magic and like boom 22 inch 180 percent density and also it's HD lace HD lace is really good for um darker skin tones This is what comes in the box from Austria hair they gave me a workout a uh, edge brush. I really need a new one. So I'm gonna let my edges meet. Then the hair. Thank you all for your hair for sponsoring this video, and thank you guys for watching because without you guys, where would I be? I'm going to quickly go over how to bleach the knots. If you are a beginner, I suggest you go with 20 volume developer. But I used a packet of extra strength bleach and some 20 volume developer and mixed it up until I got a thick consistency. I suggest you put a lot of bleach, but amount of liquid to it and I'm going to start mixing and once I get the consistency I want I'm going to apply it to the lace 20 volume developer is good when you're a beginner because it doesn't lift as fast as 40 volume developer here I'm showing you before what the knots look like and then I'm going to turn the in wig inside out so I can apply the bleach and when applying the bleach I apply even coats so it will bleach evenly and one side won't be over bleach and the other under bleach and I left the bleach on for about five to ten minutes I checked it at five minutes and then left it on for five more minutes but I suggest you leave it on for like max ten so after I did that I washed it off with lukewarm water and the knots came out great Okay guys, to prep our hair for the install, I suggest that you do a braid down with 10 to 12 braids. I don't know how to braid my own hair. My mom usually does it, so that's why it looks kind of crazy. But I took some cheap little edge control you can get from the beauty supply store and started slicking my edges back just so they won't get caught in the glue and the wig cap when we start doing the whole ball cap method and the whole installation process so make sure you slick your edges back and I just used a simple little edge brush and started brushing my edges back now I'm gonna put the cap over the edges that I slicked back and as you can see I'm gonna put it over my forehead and then I'm going to adjust it and then I'm going to take some little scissors to cut some pockets into my ears to start the ball cap method. And I know my braids aren't flat, but I'm going to be able to finesse it. Just believe in me. But cut small holes into the ear pocket, making sure you don't cut the hair around your ear. And put the cap around your ear. Hey, 
So this is a new method I learned from watching Eric and Tay's masterclass. Instead of using got to be glue spray to map out the hairline, I'm going to use my bowl hold or my lace glue to map out my hairline. And it's also going to make the wig cap look sleeker and more light skin than the got to be glue. After I finish doing the dots of the glue on my hairline, mapping out the hairline, I'm going to start connecting the dots. And make sure you get as close as possible to the hairline, but not directly on top of the hairline. If I wrote you a symphony, just to say how much you mean to me, what would you do if I told you you were beautiful? After placing the glue around the perona of my head, I'm going to blow dry it until the glue turns clear around the hairline. Been around the world, but I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart, but there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. After the glue is dry around the perimeter, take your little scissors or whatever to cut around the perimeter and the extra lace off the bald cap. And obviously you see that there's not much of an indentation, but on the sides there was because I wasn't cutting as close as I was supposed to. After that, I'm going to take some more, go some more glue and just glue those extra pieces down to my skin so they will lay. thing I can say is putting on a wig is trial and error because you can see the cap on the side is lifting and I kept this in the video to show you that people make mistakes and then they learn from it so I'm gonna also take my foundation and put it on the cap but my cap matched me perfectly so I didn't really have to but I did it anyway for the purpose of this video but this is where the install is gonna go downhill because the cap is gonna start lifting and then I'm gonna have to try to do it over again and I believe the ball cap was lifting because of the way I was pulling on it while cutting the other side but this is me putting the foundation on my cap and you see it's gonna start lifting again but also I'm gonna take the foundation and put it on the lace of the wig now I'm going to take the got to be glue spray and spray it on the lace to lock in the foundation that I placed on it now I'm going to take the wig and take the two clips in the back and connect them together and place the wig on my head now I'm going to shift the wig and place it where I want it so it can sit where I want it to. And you can guys see I put a skunk stripe in it. But you see me brushing the hair back and making sure everything's brushed back so I can see what I'm doing. And now I'm going to place it to where I want it to sit on my head. I'm going to cut tabs in the lace. I'm going to cut three tabs, basically three tabs into the lace. So now you have three separate sections. Now you see the wig cap is lifting and this is where I'm going to take it all off and then do the process over again. Not every install is going to be perfect but at least finesse it. So with my wig cap acting crazy I still finesse it to get it to lay under that damn wig. But now you're going to see me take alcohol and a cotton swab so I can get all the excess skin oils and also dirt and foundation that is on my skin off before I put the glue so nothing will get in the way of this wig laying down. Now I'm going to take the glue and pull my hair back and start putting the glue around the perimeter of the bald cap. As you can see I'm putting a thick layer on and this is what actually saved this install with me putting a, a bunch of thick, two thick layers of glue on is what actually saved this install from going down the drain. And the more layers of glue that you put is going to determine how long this install lasts. And also your maintenance of the frontal is going to determine how how long it lasts. Because 
after applying my first layer of glue, obviously I'm happy. I'm going to take my blow dry and blow dry until it's clear. And then I will apply my second layer and blow dry that until it's clear. And then I'm going to start the application. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me would you? Well baby I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl now for the application you're going to want to take your first tab which is the middle tab and place it right on top of the glue and then take your second tab and put it right on top of the glue and also with the third tab but when placing it on top of the glue you want to make sure the starting of your hairline comes either before or right in the middle of where you place the glue now i'm going to take my scissors and cut the ear tabs out make sure you do not cut any hair or your hair in the process and you're probably like Kyrie you did not let the glue dry clear it's still white well sweets it's tacky right now and the glue will eventually doing well I'm very impatient but the glue will eventually dry into the lace making it stick and last longer not saying you shouldn't wait until the glue is clear but as long as that first coat is clear and that second coat gets tacky enough you can lay the wig down now to make sure the lace gets melted in the glue take a rat tail comb and start doing this little motion with the hairline this is so you can press the lace into the glue I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You can be my So after letting the scarf sit on my head for a while, I saw that one side was like far back than the other so I pulled it down and took the got to be glue spray and sprayed it on there and you're gonna see me do it again but taking the got to be glue spray and spraying it on where you place the glue is gonna help the lace melt into the adhesive better that's what I've realized after doing wigs for so long that's why I always keep me a got to be glue spray handy even if I do not use it in the ball cap method I'm still gonna use it after so I'm going to blow dry that until it's dry and then we're going to take an eyebrow razor and start cutting the lace. Please use that eyebrow razor because I see multiple girls on YouTube cut their lace with scissors and stuff like that. And you realize that you're leaving a straight edge and it makes it more visible to see the indentation of where the lace is. Even though it is a lace front and you're supposed to see the lace or whatever, I don't care. Use a ray eyebrow razor because it's going to leave a jagged edge which makes it disappear into the skin or the adhesive whatever but that's all i have to say because you can i tell my friends this all the time do not cut it with scissors because i can see the indentation the, the demarcation of where you cut it you know what i'm saying and even though it looks a little light right now you can fix that with a little foundation and spray some got to be glue spray on there So right here, I'm going to lift the excess part of the lace that did not get attached to the glue when laying it down. 
Now I am going to create my part. I'm going to have a middle part in this wig and creating a middle part helps me part out my edges also so I know how to place my baby hair. When parting out my baby hairs, I was going for a widow's peak type look, which is like my natural hairline because I have a widow's peak. So you see, I'm going to start at a diagonal and then go in a straight direction when parting out my um, baby hairs. And I make sure the part near my ear, my sideburns, have the thickest baby hairs so I can do that little cute little kiss curl. And then after parting them out, I'm going to twist them up and let them sit to the side and do the other side. So right here I was going to use my pink Puff It Up spray to spray but um, it wasn't working. I don't know why and it's so much product in the bottle so I just used this cheaper alternative you can get at your local family dollar. It's like a holding spritz and I spray it in the um, part where I parted out my edges. So I used the spray to like train my edges and also melt the lace even more into the glue. So this is like the secret to like the melt and stuff. You can use the got to be glue that holds too, but this is like the best hole you'll get. Now we're gonna take our scarf, put it around that part, separating the hair and the baby hair and blow dry it because we need it to stick we need it to stay this is basically what's gonna hold everything together at the end of the day So after taking the scarf off, we're going to do some extra plucking to get the hair long looking natural. I did do plucking before doing this video, but the hair did come pre-plucked, but I still plucked it a little bit. I pluck light-handedly because you don't want to over-pluck because if you do, that's your ass. So that's why I always pluck little at a time. Well, light-handedly. And when I pluck, I always pluck pulling backwards instead of just pulling up because if you're pulling up you're not really pulling hair out pull backwards and you can see my hair is starting to look like a hairline even more sorry that it's not in the frame but yeah you get the picture and pluck do not pluck in the same place twice if you do pluck in the same place twice do not pluck in the same area pluck behind it Now I'm going to take a hot comb and flatten everything out. This is very good because it's going to get it flat flat. And I would use a flat iron during this process but it broke. So I had to go to the beauty supply store and get a hot comb. So using this hot comb you're going to train your baby hairs and also train your hair to be flat. So right here, I'm going to take my little scissors, about to say little scissors, take my little scissors and cut the baby hairs in a diagonal motion, but I'm going to cut them longer than they're supposed to be instead of short because I'm going to use a curling wand to curl them. I did not buy the little flat iron because I was just debating in the beauty supply store and I was just like, you know what, I can use a curling wand, I don't care. So 
that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the curling wand and then you're gonna see me um, twirl it towards my face to tighten the curl and poof, voila. So I'm gonna do that for the rest of my baby hairs. Also, I learned this from Eric and Tay too. Spray some got to be glue spray on the on the um edge brush and then lay your edges. But it wasn't working for me because I guess my edges were too thick and too long. So I just started using edge control, the same edge control that I used at the beginning of the video. Hey guys, I don't have my camera die and I don't have a battery because that one's dead too. So, and I was charging both of them, but I realized that um, it wasn't plugged in. So I'm going to try to finish the video on my phone, which is cool too, but I just have my baby hairs to do. But it's really not that much to do because I really just only have my baby hairs to do. And I'm going for wild and crazy baby hairs. That's all you see these swoops and stuff that's why i left them long and then curled them just curled them you know so i'm just gonna finish that and then that's the video you don't gotta put your cup down hold on drink freely yeah, holla at me if you need me maybe you should enjoy your stuff boy stop me no help up. they say fly girls have more fun so what so you should enjoy yourself yeah, yeah. I'm still going full of trap niggas, strap niggas If I fall up in this shit, we gon' clap niggas Woo niggas, some slack niggas Pocket fell like a fat nigga Chopping up your side fist with a cup of actors And get Christian Dior I be all up in the stores Young nigga, I can buy you what you want She got a fairy that shorty shaped like Serene Hit brown eyes, shorty look like Selena Shorty said that she was Puerto Rican Her pussy went like Katrina Oh, uh -huh. took ten on the dashboard Shorty did clean what you asked for She got that get right, mama And I gotta get my baby Listen, I don't want no problems I just want my baby I'm gonna take that same green spritz And spray it around my hairline To set my edges so they won't move you 
To finish off the look, I'm going to take some moves to define the curls. And this is the hairline. Y'all might as well just call me Eric and Kai at the at the at this point, cause the way I be styling, the way I be styling is just. It just do it for me every time. Ooh, three. But yeah, this was the ultimate melt with fluffy, crazy baby hair. You take a brush, you brush it, flip the brush, flip it, do the curls, and you'll get a nice little baby curl. I did the fuck out of my rib hairs. Like for real. The ribs. The ribs. Giving the girls very much water wave. Tropicana realness. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like my baby hairs. This is my first time doing it. And leave some tips and tricks down in the comments. And please, 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 if you have any questions, ask that I will answer you. And I would like to thank Asha here for partnering up with me again to send me this beautiful hair so I can give you guys a skunk and a crazy baby hair look. Period. And also, my other wig and styles will be definitely linked in the description along with the code to purchase this hair to get a little money off. And also, the details on this hair also is going to be in the description box. So, thank you guys for watching. I really love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. And if y'all give, uh, give it a thumbs up, share this video, comment, and subscribe. Because, baby, for the way I did this hair, I deserve it. So, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one.